Hey guys, it's me Nikki and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome Halloween look, the floating hair. It's really quick and easy to do. I enjoyed creating it so much and I hope that you'll have a good and easy time recreating it too. To begin, you'll need some gel eyeliner and of course an eyeliner brush. Then to simply draw an oval shape for the opening in your neck on your neck pretty low down. In my opinion, it is pretty simple, but you do have to be quite precise as you'll be using this a lot for guidance. So just try your best at it. However, if you do mess up or make any mistakes, you can correct that in the next few steps. Speaking of which, this is a part when you do the majority of your corrections. You'll be using some black face paint and preferably a small and a large brush to apply the paint. We are just going to need to apply that all over your neck and onto your chin area plus inside the circle that you just drew to make that deep dark hole. An extra part I must stress to you is to leave around a one or two centimeter gap at the top of the hole for your neck, as you can see that I've done here, and bring the paint onto the back of your neck and a bit onto the shoulders, even if it means that you need to get some help with that. But I'm using a cotton bud just to clear up any parts where some paint may have dripped onto the little area above the hole of my neck. And now I shall be filling in that hole with the black paint as you can see here and using a very small brush because this part is very precise. Once you've filled in the hole of your neck, then you'll need to add highlights to certain areas, such as the top bit that I told you to leave blank, basically, and any areas that the light would hit or need brightening up, such as the area that I'm doing now. Also, just don't forget to do that around the rim of the hole in your neck and your shoulders, any other areas that really need to have any extra brightness, as you can see here, but just go wherever you feel it needs to go. This next step is probably one of the most difficult parts and you will have to mix your white paint and black paint together to create not a grey but a sort of darker white colour and you'll be using that to add highlights to the inside of your neck in some cylinder like shape because of course this hole in your neck is going to be a sort of tunnel and you're just going to put that around the top where the light would hit and once you've done that you can use some more black paint just to deepen the inner part of the hole to make it look like a pure tube or some sort of deep dark hole that you don't know where it goes and this is how it should look like add any extra touches up that you need to and then you are done So that was it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe to see more. Have a happy Halloween guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.